Did Captain Hook from the Peter Pan movie kill Ariel's mother from The Little Mermaid? That's exactly what we're talking about today. It sounds crazy, but I'll prove to you that it's not. Another theory is starting on Cine Lovers. Let's go! If you're a fan of Disney classics, then you can be sure that you're going to freak out during this video. And afterward too, I'm going to show you that Captain Hook from Peter Pan killed Athena, Ariel's mother. Our story begins in Neverland, a place where no one grows up. If you arrive there at 12 years old, you'll always be 12. If you arrive at 40, you'll always be 40. Unless you leave Neverland, stay away for a few years, and then come back, then time will have passed for you. I've always wanted to visit this magical place. And you? Write in the comments if you've ever wanted to go to Neverland. In this place, everything is magical. Ships fly, fairies exist, mermaids are always around. Yes, the mermaids appear in Peter Pan, several of them, and they're Peter's friends, and even flirt with them. There are two in particular who are redheads, and one of them has the same hairstyle as Athena, plus she looks a lot like her, they're practically identical. But the theory doesn't stop there. Well, this is Athena as a teenager, and she lived with other mermaids in Neverland. And do you know what they were all terrified of? Pirates, especially Captain Hook. And we see this in the first Peter Pan movie. Hook was a terror to everyone, and the only one who wasn't afraid of him was Peter Pan himself. Hook would show up, and all the mermaids would flee immediately. They were terrified. For them to be that desperate, something must have happened before. And I'll tell you what it was. But before that, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We have new videos every day for you, if you're a fan of animations like I am. If you've watched both Peter Pan movies, you've noticed that there are no male mermaids, only female ones. How did that happen? Where are the male mermaids? I'll tell you, Captain Hook killed them because he wanted to leave only the female mermaids there so he could admire their beauty and try something more with them. Besides killing the guys, he made it very clear that if any of those female mermaids escaped from there, escaped from Neverland, he would hunt them down and kill them too. In other words, he always thought he was the boss, the big shot of Neverland, and made his own rules just to benefit himself. And that's not all. There's another very important detail. One male mermaid mermaid managed to escape from Hook. His name is Triton. Remember this information because it's very important. Triton also lived in Neverland and had a thing with Athena. They liked each other. One was into the other, but they hadn't made anything official yet. When he saw all the men being killed by Hook and his crew, Triton quickly fled, and he had help from Tinker Bell, who sprinkled him with magic dust, allowing him to fly and leave Neverland, because the only way to leave was by flying. Keep this information about Triton in mind. Now let's go back to the mermaids. Well, the mermaids were terrified of Hook every time he appeared, but they just wanted to live their lives in peace without worrying about him. Time passed, and nothing changed for the mermaids. Then, something very important changed their fate. Tinkerbell was in love with Peter and was extremely jealous whenever any woman got close to him, like Wendy, Tiger Lily, and even the mermaids. So, Tinkerbell had a brilliant idea. She wanted to get rid of whoever she could, and she remembered what she had done a few years earlier with Triton, and did the same with the mermaids. She helped them all escape from Neverland, obviously by flying as well. At that moment, the mermaids ended up arriving in the city of Atlantis, where several mermaids, both male and female, already lived, and everything was perfectly peaceful. Meanwhile, back in Neverland, Captain Hook was furious because he found out that they had all escaped, and he wanted to go after them to fulfill the promise he made if they ran away, which was to hunt them down and kill them. Alright, then we get to The Little Mermaid 3. Yes, this movie exists, and it tells the story of Ariel's parents and her as a child. In one scene, we discover that Triton reunited with Athena, and that the two got married, and by this point, he was already the king of Atlantis, and Athena, the queen. King Triton gives Athena a music box. He says endless sky our song 
Did you connect that phrase to anything? I'll tell you, Neverland is in the sky. It's pretty clear. And the two of them flew out of there, flying through the sky to escape Hook and find another place to live. Then comes one of the most impactful scenes in Disney movies. When everyone was there having fun, enjoying themselves, a pirate ship arrives. Yes! And when Triton saw the ship approaching, he was desperate because he was already traumatized by pirates, right? He had seen his friend killed by Hook. So, he shouts, tells everyone to hide, to flee, and the ship goes straight for Athena, killing her. Hook grabs her even after she's dead, and flees with his flying ship back to Neverland. Yes, Captain Hook killed Ariel's mother. Even the two ships are very similar. What craziness, seriously. But then you wonder, why didn't Hook go after the rest of the mermaids and Triton himself? Because when Hook was approaching, he realized that Triton Triton had become king and had powers, and Hook would have become toast pretty quickly if he faced him. Plus, Captain Hook is a real coward, right? He only fights those he thinks are weaker than him. A good example is the TikTok, the crocodile. He freaks out just hearing the TikTok sound approaching. So, knowing he'd lose if he faced the king, he was already satisfied with what he did to Athena and took off. If you love Disney as much as I do, then you're super excited for Zootopia 2. Click here, where I explain everything we know about the movie. Now, if what you like are theories, you're going to go crazy when you discover that there are humans inside the cars. Click to find out more. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video here on Cine Lovers.